Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. On the last part, we beat Angel Island Zone and got four emeralds as well. So overall, not a bad start. I have actually had a bad start when it comes to recording this video because I've been probably failing for the last 20 minutes just to be happy with an intro. I swear to God, I'm being very self-aware about what I'm saying and stuff today. So. What I've decided to do is just kind of relax and mellow myself out. I'm just going to play some Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, it isn't exactly my favorite zone. Uh, Hydro City has never exactly been one of my favorite zones. And I can tell that probably half of you right now are commenting that it's pronounced Hydro uh, Hydrocity, rather. And uh, to be honest, I don't care because that's all preference. I'm pretty sure at some point I heard it was announced that it's actually meant to be pronounced Hydro City, though that could have just been what someone was saying to strengthen their side of the argument. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Whatever. You can call it whatever. I call it Hydro City Zone because that's what I grew up with. I kind of got used to calling it that. So yeah, overall I don't exactly know where most of the emeralds are in this stage. I just usually run through it without a worry. Uh, even though I did take the top path this time around, where usually I do not do that. So I'm trying to go the path less traveled this time around. Actually, what is up here? I don't think I've ever been up here before. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The, was there something up there? I don't know. I think there might have been something up there. I'm curious. I just want to know, because someone pointed out that there was apparently a few emeralds I could get. No, there wasn't. All right. I don't know why you can go up there then. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, someone pointed out that there was a few emeralds I can actually get in this zone. Apparently, you can probably get Supersonic in this zone. Not this particular act, but Hydro City altogether. So, I will be looking out for them if I can. But, again, I don't know exactly where all of them are, so I might be able to only get a few of them. This stage was a bit of a bitch for me when I was younger, because it combined two of the most annoying things, and by now I'm sure you've worked out what I'm talking about anyway, but it combined two of the more antagonizing things for me. You had water level, and then you have the beginning of Act 2, and I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the beginning of Act 2, and if you don't know, then you will soon know when we get to it, because it's terrifying every time, even now. It is absolutely horrifying to me. <laughs> Probably shouldn't go in here, actually. Oh, God. Actually doesn't sound as pronounced in this version, does it? It kind of... They kind of weakened the strength of it, I think. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Oh, hey! There's a ring right there, actually. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to try and remember which one this is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a perfect on this one, because... I know that some of these, again, can get really quite difficult. And sometimes it's just easier for you to go for gold right away. But we'll see what we can do. 54 blue orbs remain, so plenty of chances for me to get the perfect. Plenty of chances for me to fuck up as well, so, you know, win-win all around, I think. Though I do think that the four orbs at the very beginning were probably the ones I wanted to keep, or at least one of them I should have kept uncollected just in case that these ones happen to be uh, the last few. Yeah, I am starting to think that I probably should have done that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, we'll probably this will be the first one we don't get a perfect on then, I guess. Uh, let's try going this way. Ah, here we go. Here's some big amounts. Yeah, and I guess there's going to be the same over the other side. Ah, uh, yeah. If I've done my math right, the next few over there are 18 as well. So, yeah, we, we messed up. Should have kept the four, at least one of the four remaining. Yeah, I have. Oh, well. Oh, no. Oh, no, I definitely messed up there. That was, that was scary. Wasn't quite prepared for that. But either way, we got our emerald, and that's what's important. All right. So, no perfect on that one. Never mind. Yeah, no, that one I'd have to have uh, saved the two, the four corners, or at least one of the corners. So, either way, whatever, I guess. And here's the boss. Oh, yeah, so someone did tell me there was only one ring to get in the first act, so I guess that was that. And jump! Ah, oh, 
I was hoping the Insta Shield would uh, last a bit longer than that, but I guess it doesn't. Oh well, whatever. YOLO at this point. I don't know, I was being ballsy. I wanted to try and get in some early hits, but I guess it wasn't, it didn't pay off in the end. I just lost a bunch of rings. <laughs> oh well, it was worth trying. Okay, so here comes the really annoying section of the first, or the second act rather. Now, as you could tell, not only am I underwater, but you have a wall chasing you. This is like nightmare fuel for me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And it still kind of is. Very tense. Oh god. I'll get this. I don't know if I should have got that, but I got it anyway. Oh god. Yeah, no, I never liked this part. This was terrifying. This was actually the point where I used to stop playing every single time. Just stopped. Speaking of stopping, that's where the wall stops. If ever you were wondering. Now this place is beautiful. I absolutely love the aesthetic of Hydro City Act Zone 2. Uh, Act Zone 2. I did really well with my words there. This is exactly why I had to record about 500 times today because I swear to God, I'm being the most critical of my commentary I've ever been in years. Ah, okay, so that comment I got might have been spot on. Because I believe uh, I only had, I had less than 50 rings going into this. So, I'm thinking that, uh... Because, uh... Oh, are you fucking serious? God damn it. I was told that if you had below 50 rings, you would go to this stage. If you had between 50 and 59, you would go to the, the Gumball-like one. And if you had 60 plus, you'd go into the Orbs, the one I don't like as much one. I think... I, I swear that I've been in this one other times, though. So I'd have to, like, go through and check my ring count and everything every time I do it. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, come on, I just want one ring. I just want one ring to get the continue. Ah. Oh. Come on, stop doing this to me today. Everything is playing against me. Ah, oh. today's just not my day. Okay, well, we didn't have so much luck in that one anyway. So I don't actually know where the two rings are in this stage. Apparently there are two. So I'll be looking out for them if I can. I, I kind of can guess where a few of them are hidden, uh, but I don't remember all of them. So I'll keep my eyes out for any kind of hidden wall compartments. Well, there's a wall compartment under there, but I don't remember how to get to it. That's the problem. And that ain't it. That's just getting me hit. Oh, ah, oh, you know what? I could have I could have tried to get in that way. Oh, well, never mind. That would have been a neat way to do it, though. Don't even know if there was a ring down there. I don't actually know what's down there. You could probably get in there as Knuckles, though, because you could maybe climb down the wall against the current of the wind. Guess you could do that. Could be a way of doing it. But I really like the aesthetic. The background of this stage is lovely. It is gorgeous. So, right, I'm going to try something, and it didn't work. <laughs> Uh, is there anywhere I can get back up? No. I originally wanted to try and get up there, but I don't know if you can actually, because I thought you'd have to jump after going on uh, on the spring. Oh, what's in here? Hey! Special stage ring! It's like I knew, except I didn't, so there you go. Well, I might have known, but like not actually remembered I knew. I remember this stage. This stage is actually one of the easier ones, which is nice. I like having a little break. I actually forgot if this was a, a legit Sonic 3 one or if it was a Sonic and Knuckles level, so... I always like the colours they chose for this stage. It's nice shades of blue. It's always been uh, pleasing to the eye. Nice pleasing colours as you're getting dizzy from going all around. Of course, I have to leave two of these. Uh, not these two in particular, but I have to leave two of them at some point uh, to get the perfect if I can, which I think will kind of work anyway. Will it? I don't know, actually. I think it works out, providing I get as many rings as possible before I move on. Yeah, no, this should be, this should be very doable. But I'm gonna have to jump over. Come on, jump over. Thankfully, Sonic can jump over 
uh, too long ride. Oh my god, there's so many, so many orbs. I didn't remember there was this many orbs though. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect already. Oh wow, alright. Well, there you go. So now the rest should just be easy, actually. Providing I don't corner myself and then forget where the rest are, because I've done that before. That was a bit awkward. Get very lost and very confused, and then it's all for nothing. Yay! That was really, uh, that went a lot better than I thought it was gonna. <laughs> I guess I doubt my skill more than I thought, I guess. I don't know. Or it could be dumb luck. Could be a mixture of both, really. We also got a continue and a perfect to boot. Only one more emerald to go as well. That's not bad, is it? We're doing really well. We're actually doing roughly as well as we did in uh, Sonic 2. Can't complain. And now I don't actually know where the other ring is, so we might have to wait for the next zone to come along before we actually continue on the path of Super Sonic. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I thought I'd be able to get up there then, but unfortunately not. Oh no, how do I get up there? Is there a spring? Can I go in here? Is there nothing I can do? Let me get up! Ah, there we go. Oh no! Oh man, I almost fell for that. Oh no, I almost fell for that again. <laughs> it was about this time that you noticed that Sonic 3 tries to do a few more tricky things than Sonic 2 or Sonic 1. To start throwing in a little bit more puzzly platforming kind of sections. I want my invincibility. Again, this game gives you invincibility in the weirdest locations, because I swear there's nothing really that deadly around this section. It's really weird. I guess... No, there's nothing! There's literally nothing here that could hurt me. What is the point in giving me that invincibility there? I don't understand. It's really weird. Also, I noticed that the sparkles around that checkpoint were completely white. I do believe that was probably the other special stage that we haven't seen yet. The one that was done in Sonic 3 rather than the Ann Knuckles bonus stages. Which, if that is the case actually, would mean that maybe the ring amounts for the special stages aren't quite that accurate. I don't know, because that was a clear, there were clear stars, I'm pretty sure. Go back and check. Oh, look at that skill. Oh, dude. There's a thing up there. Oh, is that another special stage? Oh, I want it! I want it! Let me in! Hup! Yeah, there we go! Yes, it is! Oh my god! It is the other one! Oh, we could get all the emeralds! What? I don't think I've ever got all the emeralds this quick! I do remember this stage though, so should be fairly simple to get them. He says, hopefully I'm not gonna mess up. The thing is, this is where the stages start to insert their own rings, so getting a perfect is a little harder on this stage. This is actually the last of the Sonic 3 special stages, so I guess uh, the, I think the rings around the stage happen quite a bit in the Sonic & Knuckles versions, but uh, overall not too bad of a stage, as long as you don't want to perfect it, that is. Otherwise, you're going to have to go hunting for some rings. But, enough to get a continue is good enough for me. I will try and get as many as possible just out of habit, but whatever. Right, 18 left. Where are those gonna be? Oh, maybe... Uh, where are the last four? Oh, snap! Where are these last four gonna be? I don't remember. I don't remember where these are. Oh god, no, 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 not that way. Oh, jeez. Oh man, where are they? Oh god. Oh god. Where are they? I'm gonna get faster and faster until I find them. Oh jeez. Oh, maybe they'd be on the other side of this. That makes sense, right? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Thought I saw them. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, no. Um, ah, God, where are they? <laughs> I don't know. Ah? Huh? Where the fuck are these last four? Ah, there they are! Yes! Wow. Oh my God, we've really, wow, episode two and we've already got them all. Jeez, what the hell? But, 
Supersonic acts a bit different in this game, whereas in the second game, if you just jump when you have 50 rings, you instantly become supersonic no matter what. This one, you can kind of control it so that you only turn supersonic if you don't have a shield and if you double jump. So as long as I don't double jump, I won't turn into supersonic, which is actually neat because sometimes uh, it might not be necessary or needed to be super. Really depends on the situation, although generally, if you have a lot of rings, you might as well, you know? But I might as well make this boss uh, a little bit easier for myself. Or hell, I could probably uh, just go into this and get... Oh, is this the... Yes, yeah, the ball one, okay. You know, this is why I actually like the special stages like this, because you can use these to get as many rings as possible. That way you can contain, or like, contain, continue being super as long as possible. Whoop! So this confuses me more about the whole special stage situation because you could see that the the stars of the uh, the special stage <coughs> ring was different this time. It wasn't completely clear, so I really don't know anymore. Maybe there's maybe there's a chance of it appearing when you have a certain amount of rings. One thing I will always say I like about this stage is the music. It's always funky. It's like dum bum 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 bum, and away. Okay, now it's time to take down Robotnik. The only way I know how. The cheaty way! Hi! How are you doing? So, Supersonic is actually a bit different in this one. He is a lot more flashy. He actually strobes. And unfortunately, you can't turn into Supersonic during the ending bit like you can in Sonic 2. Sad face. Anyway, thank you for joining me again for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I apologize if my commentary was a little off today. I don't know why, I'm just I'm just being weird today, I guess. But either way, I actually enjoyed playing through this, so if you enjoyed, throw us a like, and I'll see you on the next Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Take care. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>